Hello, and welcome to a video dedicated entirely to the Mon Collie Pokemon collection. Now, for those of you not in the know, uh, Mon Collie is basically what they call the Pokemon figures in Japan. In fact, if we have a look here, uh, the top there literally translates to Monster Collection. So this is basically single packs featuring, well, single Pokemon. Although, as you can see at the back, I do actually have a special pack as well. Now, those of you with eagle eyes and who have watched my other videos will notice that these two here, Rotom and Mimikyu, I actually opened up in my previous video, the What's in the box from Japan thing. And actually, I was just going to open them off camera without doing anything, but I realised I actually have quite a few Mon Collie little things lying around. So I decided, hey, why not open them up on camera and let's take a look at them together and maybe show you guys something that maybe some of you wouldn't have seen if you've only bought Pokemon figures, you know, from the West and not from Japan. So anyway, enough of my introduction, let's jump straight into it. First up is Yamask, or as his name in Japanese is, Death Mask, or Des uh, Desumasu which I think translates to Death Mask. Anyway, it's Desu is Death, uh, as is famous from that Yu-Gi-Oh card, Death Koala, which actually just means Dead Koala or Death Koala. Anyway, I'm going to go undo the cell tape because I've realised these are absolute nightmares to open just with your fingers, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I've managed to undo one side. The other is stuck down, but we'll just do it from the front. Uh, for those of you who don't know much about Pokemon, that is the Pokemon uh, logo in Japanese. Pocket Monster, or I, I can't remember exactly what it is. Anyway, let's go ahead and open up Yamask. So this, as you can tell, is from a different series to these two. Those are Sun and Moon. This, I think, actually may be black and white here. Ooh. Okay, so first off, we get... Something with a QR code, if you guys want to scan that, I may scan it afterwards and I'll let you guys know what it turns out to be. But, pure, pure hinto. Oh, presento. Sorry, that's here, not he. Um, that's set. So that's a present of some kind, if you want to scan that. Uh, we get a little plastic tree. Ah, and something interesting that I quite like, uh, is we get a stand for him which is interesting. It's just a piece of blue plastic with a Pokeball kind of symbol on and this thing. So I think this actually, as you can see there, this hooks into other ones. If you have lots of them, they can all hook into each other. But the fact they've all got bases is fantastic because over here, we don't get anything like that. So I'll put the base over there. Uh, and that is Yamask. Let's just open him up. There's not much point looking at him in the plastic. Aha. Okay, this is actually easier than I thought. And this is indeed, oh wow, he's very shiny. This is Yamask. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, that's actually his eye. And that's his mouth. He's just holding a mask from when he used to be a human or something. Oh, and that's behind the mask. Well, yeah, he's a darn good looking figure, actually. I really like Yamask. He's one of my favourite Pokemon. And his evolution, Cofagridus, is, I think, one of the best designs of Gen 5. Right, let's put him over there. And I'm going to go undo the tape for Rotom, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with Rotom, and also I've realised that all three of the single Mon Collie I have there are Ghost Type. Uh, I didn't really plan that or anything. I do like Ghost Types, but they're definitely not my favourite or anything. So, uh, the packaging for this is a bit interesting as well, because there's a hole at the back. But, so you can actually put your finger kind of behind it. But that's not why you came to watch this video. Actually, why did you kind of watch this video? I don't really know why I made this. I didn't plan it or anything. I just kind of had a brainwave. Anyway, these are a little easier to open up. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Rotom. Okay, he's fallen out. So, with Rotom, we do... Sorry about that. A bit of technical difficulties. Uh, my camera actually kind of keeled over, but I entered it just before you saw that, hopefully. So, as I said, there's a base here, and that is Little Rotom himself, who looks a bit dirty, actually, uh, on camera. He looks like, I don't know, the, the plastic maybe isn't the best. It's not very clear. It's all very cloudy or whatever. Anyway, let's put it on his base. Okay, so it's not, a, it's not a tight fit. It's more of a kind of general thing. And, yeah, 
he is a bit murky, actually, which is a little bit disappointing, but I only paid, like, a pound or two for him, so I don't mind so much. Um, no, okay, so I'm going to try and put him down on the bed. Uh, which way does he go? Right, and that is his face. There we go. That is indeed Rotom. At the end, I'll maybe try and have a more detailed look at everything. And the third one, and the one I've been most looking forward to opening, is Mimikyu. So, as before, I'm going to go open up the back of him, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and ready to open up Mimikyu. As with before, he's actually quite easy. Oh, actually, he's not as easy as Rotom was. And I maybe should have done the ones on the bottom as well. But whatever, let's power through this. Yay, there we are. No, oh, okay, be right back. Okay. I'm back. Uh, Mimikyu literally shot off the video. I'm going to try and maybe slow it down and show you there. But I don't think he was in, even in focus when he did so. So this is Mimikyu. He is a very small figure, actually. I think these are just a tad bit smaller than the average Pokemon figures. I could be wrong, though. However, this is a fantastic figure. For some reason, it doesn't seem to want to really focus. But, okay. But as you can see, he is quite detailed there. If I put my hand there, maybe. There we are. That's a better look at him. That is a very good looking Mimikyu. Oh, and the focus has gone back. There we are. Sorry about that. Jump cut again. But as you can see, it is very nice. His face is drawn on like some toddler has drawn it. And that's his tail there. Which you're not going to see much. And it's probably got writing of Tommy or whatever. And that is the underside of Mimikyu. Of course, no one knows what's inside there. Those terrible, terrible black eyes. What lies beneath? Okay, I'm back and moved everything out of the way. So, those are our three single Mon Conley. Now, this, uh, for those of you who don't know, which is probably quite a lot of you, this is the Zygarde Movie Movie Pack A, I believe. Sorry, I'm back. I decided to actually take a look at the box. I am, I think, correct. It's volume one of the Pokemon movie XYZ movie pack. As you can see here, it has Zygarde, uh, a shiny Mega Gardevoir, and a shiny Mega Gengar, which is the reason I bought this. On the back, we just get kind of weird, different looks at the angles of these figures, uh, although we'll be looking at that in a second, so there's not much point doing that. But anyway, I've got to admit, this is some fantastically nice packaging. I really like the display of both the Megas there, and of course, Zygarde on top. So, as before, I'm going to open up the saddle tape, and I'll be right back. Okay then, I'm back. This is actually a lot easier to open up. I think I can just slide it out the side here. Uh, well, I say I think I... Yeah, yeah, okay, I can, actually. So... Here we have the three Pokemon and some little card thing at the bottom, which is probably another present. Yes, it is. So that is a, I don't know what that is. That's some kind of a code for something. And that's the QR code. So if you do want these for whatever reason, then do feel free to scan that. I'll probably do that myself as well. And what is, oh, okay, there's more teeth. Thankfully, it's a little bit, there we are. What is below here? Well, if it wasn't see-through plastic, that would be a good question. However, we already know. So, let's go ahead to the big guy first, shall we? This is Zygarde 100% form, and my god, he is not only larger than I thought, but articulated as well. Well, his... Okay, so it's just his left... No, his arms move as well. That's really cool. Okay, so these little flowy things, I'm going to try and get a nice close-up on him as well. Okay, sorry about that. I decided to move my camera around a bit. So this is Zygarde, as I mentioned. So these things here can't move. Uh, there's the blue one and the red one. I've not seen a Pokemon movie XYZ, so I can't exactly tell you, but I think this is to do with the two cells, one of them which Bonnie had in the anime and the other was the... Second core, I can't remember. But anyway, this is actually a really cool looking design. I've not really looked at it that much, but man, the detailing and stuff of this is actually really cool. And as I said, the fact you can move his arms, so 
do a pause like that and have him sit down maybe because he's tired. There we are, he's resting up. Whilst we take out another Pokemon. Now I'm going to save Mega Gengar for last because I really like me some Gengar. This is everyone's favourite waifu, Gardevoir. Okay, sorry, again, trying to focus. Apparently, my camera either doesn't like the light or the materials his Pokemon are made out of. But anyway, this is uh, Mega Gardevoir, the shiny version, of course. She is not pausable, and underneath her skirt are her legs. Although, obviously, you'd put her down like that to stand. She's actually really nice. I do like uh, Gardevoir, actually. I don't have any figures of her line, and... I really like the shiny versions of them, so the fact that they made this three-pack is actually really cool. And I like her little end of the dress thing there. And finally, the highlight of this pack for me, although I'm really liking 100% uh, Zygarde, is Mega Gengar. I was going to say Mega Gengar EX, sorry. Mega Gengar shiny version. And this dude is looking really cool. So I'm just trying to get a nice focus on him. There we are. Okay, that actually turned out fairly well. Now, the paint apps on his eye are not the best. There is a bit of white, as you can quite easily tell there. Although, he is looking pretty darn cool. So, ah, yes, there's the slight pink kind of purple thing uh, glowing at the bottom there, which is also a detail I liked about him. Quite an easy figure, actually, if you think about it, because you don't have to put that many paint apps on him. You just cast him in white and paint a bit. As we can tell with the eye there, sometimes that doesn't turn out the best. Of course, he has three eyes, including his TN eye there. So I'm going to clear everything away, and I'll be right back just to give a wrap up. And I am back. So this is just a final look at all six uh, Mon Colley Pokemon I opened up. I've got to say, not all that impressed with the Rotom there. His plastic, I don't know, for some reason, just looks really foggy. The rest of them, however, I'm really liking. I'm astonished by the quality of the Mega Zy of the 100% Zygarde. Admittedly, it makes sense because he was probably the main focus on the pack. But overall, these are pretty darn good, especially little Mimikyu here. So if you do have an interest in very particular Pokemon and don't want to end up paying a lot of money just for a, I don't know, triple pack and for the sake of getting one Pokemon, then I do recommend maybe getting them on Kale figures. Anyway, that about wraps it up for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you do want to watch more random anime slash Pokemon related stuff, maybe consider subscribing. And as always, giving a like or a dislike is always appreciated, along with any comments you have to give. And until next time, goodbye.